it seems to be happening again. Fish are dying off in the Oda River, the border between Poland and Germany. We see them near floodgates. Tributaries on the Polish side are also affected, with recent reports of hundreds of kilos of dead fish, killed by golden algae. Richard Gavron grew up along the Oder, playing on the riverbanks. He's gone fishing there since childhood days. Those days are over. This is where I learned to fish, where I grew up. Now this is like an assault on my memories. In the summer of 2022, some 400 tons of fish, about half of all fish stocks in the Oda and its tributaries, were found dead. Analysts blamed high salinity in the river water. But where did all the salt come from? Coal mines in the region are the prime suspects, dumping highly saline wastewater into the rivers. Greenpeace asked chemistry professor Leszek Pezderski to investigate. When he tried to collect water samples near one of the mines, police and security personnel showed up. There were heated discussions. His investigation was clearly unwanted. Who are you, anyway? Maybe you could introduce yourself? Oh, so you don't want to? Then you know what? To me, you're not even here. Professor Pazderski and his team are focusing on the Halemba coal mine. They take water samples from the Klodnitsong, a tributary of the Oder. Wastewater from the plant has already mixed with the river water here. Pazderski's wife helps with the analysis. It shows a salt content six times higher than normal. Uh, of course, they occur also naturally in water, but not uh, in large amounts. However, they are in very big amounts uh, in wastewaters from mines, like mine Halemba. And uh, we can now make another measurement of the wastewater salinity itself. Professor Pazderski finds the mine's discharge pipe. This is where the wastewater flows into the river, day after day, almost continuously. The high salinity creates ideal conditions for golden algae. It normally thrives only in seawater, and it's lethal to freshwater fish. The Greenpeace activists measured alarmingly high salinity levels right here by the coal mines. So as you can see, this is 18 times more than water in Kłodnica itself. For sure, the problem of salinity will, will increase in intensity because the water levels are much smaller in the summertime, especially when there are high temperatures because water evaporates, salt does not. When contacted, the mine management denied any responsibility for the fish die-off insisting they observe all the legal requirements for wastewater disposal. Polish industries dump waste into the Oder and its tributaries through over 10,000 discharge pipes. And they do so quite legally. Poland's limits for salt in wastewater are barely even defined. We inquire about the Polish Environment Ministry's plans to reduce salinity in the rivers. The emailed response consisted of general information on water pollution control and an assurance that preventing such disasters in future had absolute priority, and not a word about salt contamination. Reactions from the people who live on the Oder are somewhat ambiguous. In Wroclaw, some are outraged at the official response, while others haven't heard of the recent fish die-off. These are political reasons. Somebody doesn't want to name the culprit, and that's all. It's not true that the fish in the odor are healthy now. Personally, we don't have that much contact with the water. We don't go fishing, so we're not very interested in the issue. With each new report of dead fish in the odor, Richard Gavron, who once loved to go fishing, loses hope that anything will get better. 
Straciłem zaufanie do tej rzeki. I've lost my confidence in this river. I don't trust this river. I don't see any point in going fishing in this polluted water. Zatrutej, zabrudzonej wodzie. In autumn, Poland will be holding elections and may get a new government. It's a ray of hope for many along the Oda, who would rather not just sit back and watch the fish die.